Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make Fall Blossom. Fall Blossom is a square that's been designed by Aurora, Amy and Kathy. I'll take you step by step through the rounds that make up this square. I'm using a 3.5mm crochet hook and I'm using Scheepjes stone washed yarn. I'll take you step by step through the rounds and here and there there are a few points where you just need to pay attention and it might just help you to understand exactly what's meant in the written pattern. I hope it's a useful video for you and thank you for watching. Round one, I have a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to start with a chain four. One, two, three, four, and then close to the first stitch with a slip stitch. This makes a ring. And now we're going to work in the center of the ring. Chain one. This is just to get you to the correct height. It's not a stitch because in the stitch we're now in the circle we're going to make 12 single crochets. Especially the first one, just make sure you're actually working in the ring. It's my first single crochet. One, two, three, four, eleven, and twelve. Twelve single crochets, and I'm going to close on the first stitch with a slip stitch. And I'm going to use the same color yarn for the next round, so I'm not going to cut my yarn. So that's round one. Round two. In this round we're going to be making two double crochets in every stitch. Chain three, that's for my first double. And then another double in the same stitch. This is the stitch that already has the slip stitch joined, so you might have to squish that a little in there. So two stitches in there. And then in the next stitch make two doubles and repeat that on the next also and go all the way around. When you get to the beginning close on your first chain three so with a slip stitch. You can cut your yarn if you're going to use a different color or just leave it attached if you're going to use the same color for the next round. I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm using a new color but if you're using the same color then then don't cut, just uh, continue after the slip stitch. So go all the way around, work two doubles in every stitch, as you can see I'm doing already, and when you get here to the beginning, close on that chain three with a slip stitch. Round three, I have a new color yarn. Now you can attach your yarn in any stitch, doesn't matter where. If you're using the same color, just continue where you left off. I'm going to attach in this stitch. <coughs> and I'm going to attach with a slip stitch. If you're using the same color as the previous round, this slip stitch represents the stitch that um, your join, your slip stitch join. I'm going to start with a double crochet. That's a chain three. Two, three. You're also welcome to do a standing double crochet here. What we're now going to do is we're going to come back and work a front post double crochet on the stitches in round two. We're going to come back three stitches counting from our current position. So this is a stitch where you're currently in. So that counts as a one. Then come back another two stitches to this stitch here. We're going to work a front post double crochet around that stitch. So this is, uh, let me call it this then, one, two, three. Or if you prefer counting from zero, one, two. So in this stitch here, going to work a front post double crochet. To yarn over, and you're going to have to fold your work to really get around that stitch. Pick up your loop, and I'm going to open up this loop to 
bring this stitch to my current working height. And it's going to elongate this stitch. That's why the designer also calls this a long double crochet because you're elongating this stitch. And then complete the double crochet as normal. So that means you'll have a bit of a um, you'll have a big loop here at the bottom. I'm going to work a double crochet in the same stitch as where we connected the yarn. So where that chain three is in. So that's in this position. So in that same stitch work another double crochet followed by three more on the next stitches that's one two and three now from the long double crochet up into this stitch that's the repeat unit we're going to do that all the way around We'll show you a few more times. I'm now going to make that long double crochet again. This is the stitch where we're currently in. So we're going to count back. So this is one then, two, three. Or if you prefer this is then zero and then count back one, two stitches. Either way, this is where you want to end up. So that's your current position and come back two more stitches, three stitches in total. And to make a long double crochet front post around that. So yarn over, folding my work to really get around the post of that stitch. And we do that again. And now open up this loop to bring your yarn to your current working height and then complete the double crochet and that's that long post you just made in the same position as where we made the last double crochet before we did this long one I'm going to work another double so you can see there's already a stitch in there so in that stitch I'm working another double crochet and then work three more doubles One, two, three doubles. Now I've done the repeat two times. I'm going to do this seven times in total. I'll show you once more and then I'll make a small jump to here just to show you the last bit. Let's just first see where we have to go. This is our current position. And then we move back and we move back. So this here is the stitch that we're going for. You can see that? This is your current position and then move one up and move one up. This one there. To yarn over and around the post of that stitch make a front post double, elongate your, your loop to get to your working height and then one two times yarn over. Work a double crochet in the same stitch where you already had that one stitch, that last double crochet. I'm going to do another one in there. And then work three more doubles on the next three stitches. This one, two, and three. We've now done the repeat three times. Do this three more times and then I'll just see you for the last repeat and the last few stitches. I've now done the repeat six times because you see here six of these long double crochets. Again, yarn over. I'm going to count back the stitch I'm currently in, and then count back two more around that post. Going to do a long double crochet, bring up, complete the double. Work a double crochet in the same stitch 
is where you made that last double before the long stitch and then three more on the next three stitches so it's one two and three now going to do our last long stitch yarn over this is the stitch we're currently in this one here and then go again one two more back so we're going to go to that stitch there Hold your work to really get into that stitch. Bring up your yarn, complete the long double crochet. The same stitch where you work the last double, work another double crochet. At this point you will have two stitches left but they'll be a little bit hidden. If you look here behind this long stitch, you see there two stitches left. I'm going to work a double crochet in each of those. One and two. I'm going to close on the chain three and that's again a little bit hidden here but if you look here you see there just fish it out there is the chain three. I'm just going to close on that chain three with a slip stitch. And this completes round three. Round four. In this round we're going to be again doing front post uh, long double crochets. First we do a chain three. That's our first double crochet. If you prefer you can also do a standing double crochet here and also on the next two stitches do a double crochet. This is the next stitch which will be a long stitch and the stitch after. We're now going to start the repeat unit. Again going to make a long stitch but this time we're going to not come back like we did in round three but we're going to move forward. And we're going to do the long stitch around the same stitch as we did the previous um, one from round three. So around the same position, around that same stitch we already have a front post double, we're going to make another front post double. And one thing you can note, if you just open up, here's the front post stitch. You can either go at the below the front post or more here at the top. So it just kind of depends on how you want to stack your stitches. So you can go here or there. It just kind of uh, depends what you'd like to do. It doesn't doesn't matter for, for for your square. It's what you find easier. I'm going to yarn over and then in the next position of the next long front post double I'm just going to go to the at the top of it. So I'm at the top of this long stitch. If you want to, you can also go here below it. Doesn't matter. Hook up your yarn. And now again, open up this stitch. So bring your yarn to your current working position. And then one and two times. This completes your next long front post stitch going to work a double crochet on the next five stitches and be sure when you come to the back that you don't miss your next stitch. You're not skipping any stitches so immediately in the next stitch work a double crochet and your long stitch will tend to cover that so you're really going to have to watch out for that. It's one, two, three, doubles, double crochet number four falls in the long stitch, that's double crochet number four, and then number five is the stitch immediately after. This is your repeat unit, from the long stitch up to this last double crochet, so the long stitch and then the five doubles. I'll show you again. Yarn over, then in the next stitch, so where this um, long stitch already is at the top of it 
work another front post stitch or you can also do, go below so here doesn't matter I'm going to open this up to where I'm currently at take off once and twice then to the back be sure not to accidentally skip a stitch you want to work in the next double the next stitch here you want to work a double crochet that's the first of five that's one two three number four again falls in the long stitch so that's a checkpoint for you four and then this is five now you're at the end of the next repeat unit I'm going to show you the repeat once more and then I'm going to make a jump in the video so just to show you the last bit of this round again yarn over and then around the post pick up open up your stitch and complete the double crochet at the back in the next stitch, so not skipping any stitches here to the back, work five doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, which is again in the long stitch, and then work five. I've done the repeat three times with you. Actually, I should, should say which ones will we just work out? We like that one, that one, and that one. Go all the way around, and I'll see you here for the last repeat. Just for the last part, so I've just done a repeat. Here I've done the five double crochet, so just the last part. Yarn over and come to the last position, so that's this long stitch. Above that, I'm going to work another long stitch, bring my loop up, one and two. To the back, work in the next stitch, see that stitch there, work one double crochet and in the next stitch also work a double crochet. At this point your next stitch is the chain 3 that we started with. You can just close on that chain 3 with this slip stitch. And this completes round 4. Round 5. I'm going to start with a chain 3. That's again my first double crochet. So I'm currently in that slip stitch. Just going to do a chain three and then in the same stitch, so this chain three stitch here, I'm going to do two more double crochets in the same stitch. So one and two. Then one double crochet on the next two stitches. First one and the second. Your next stitch is going to be the front post stitch you have on this side. That's just a checkpoint for you where this second stitch should be, so in the stitch before that. We're now going to work a front post treble around the stitch from round three. If you just check, that's a stitch here, so this long front post double crochet we did here. We're going to do a front post treble around that and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around this stitch here. Now we start twice over and then you're going to have to come back to really go around that front post stitch to the right if you're right-handed, be to the left if you're left-handed. Just pick up and then work the treble. The next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet around this 
front post double onto the that's in front of of your working direction. So this front post treble was going back and the front post double is going forward. Next, a double crochet in the next stitch and be mindful it's that stitch there but you can see this stitch kind of falls over it so be sure not to accidentally miss that next stitch. You can see that stitch there, it looks like I'm skipping. I'm not actually skipping that stitch because that's the front stitch that we just work the front post around. So then the stitch after you work a double and the stitch after that work a double and then work three in the next so that's one two three and now again work one in the next two that's one and two. And again this second one falls in the stitch before the front post double that you have here. And this stitch is the same as that stitch there. So this little bit here, I'm going to do this seven times in total all the way around. I'll show you the repeat once more. Twice over because you're going to do a treble. You're going to fold your work around the front post stitch that's in your backward, going backwards from round three, complete the treble and after the front post treble, do a front post double around the long front post double from round four so the first one is here on round three that's a treble and then a double on the stitch here from round four. And in the next stitch, being sure to push your work to the side, you can really see that next stitch. That looks like I'm skipping a stitch, but it's not. That's the stitch I just worked the front post around. And in the following stitch, work a double and get my yarn and a double in the next stitch also. Three doubles in the following stitch. So it's one, two, three in the same stitch and then two, one on each of the next two stitches. One and one. And again this stitch falls in the stitch before the front post double. And now you've done the repeat twice. So I've just done it two times with you. Do five more times and I'll just see you for the last bit here. So almost round, it's round five. Just done this last repeat. The last bit, I'm going to have to do a front post stitch around these last two front posts. That's so twice over for the treble. Come back and around the stitch from round three. Work a treble, front post, and around the stitch from round four, work a front post double. Be sure to push your stitch aside that you can really get into the next stitch. It's one double, and in your last stitch, you also do a double. Close on the chain three with a slip stitch. This completes round five. I'm going to use a new color for the next round. If you're using the same color, you can also leave your um, yarn attached. Round six. This is the stitch in which we finished. There's that um, slip stitch that I've opened up. I'm going to start in the stitch next to it in the front loop. <coughs> I'm going to attach my yarn there in the front loop of that stitch with a slip stitch. If you're using the same color yarn, just slip stitch into the next stitch front loop. So in the front loop of that stitch, the next stitch, I'm going to attach my yarn. Chain three for my first double crochet. 
in, work two more double crochets in the same stitch, front loop. That's one <coughs> and two. So you've now worked three double crochets in the front loop, so you can see the back loop is still there, of this stitch, the next stitch after the join from round five. On the next three stitches, we're going to work a double crochet front loop. So again, pick up only the front loop of the stitch, just taking those threads with me, going to work over them, work a double. The next stitch, only the front loop, and the next stitch, again, only the front loop of that stitch. Oh yeah. I seem to have lost the yarn over. Only the front loop. The next stitch should be your front post stitches. Around both of them you're going to work a front post double crochet. So around the first one work a front post double and around the next one a front post double. Your shell with the, the flower petal here. We're going to work a double crochet on the first three. And in the center, we work three doubles, and then on the last three, we work one double again in each. So it's three on three stitches, three on one stitch, and three on three stitches. And everything we're going to work front loop. So the next stitch, pick up only the front loop. And work a double one and then number two on the second stitch and number three on the third stitch again only that front loop the next stitch only the front loop work three doubles one two three next three stitches work one on each front loop. One, two, and three. Now you're at the front post stitches again and here we're again going to work two front post doubles just like we did on these two here. So this is a, rep so this is a repetition so now you've seen the entire repeat unit the front post double around both of these. There you go. Going to repeat this on all of your flower petals. You get here, after your last two front post doubles, you're going to have three stitches left, work a front post double in the front loop of those three, and then close on your chain three. And then you can cut your yarn. Round seven. This round we're going to work to the back of round six. So in round six you've got those back loops. We're going to be working in those because we only worked in the front loops. So I've got those back loops left. And you've got these um, stitches here. Those are from the front posts. We're going to be working in those. So everything we're going to be doing to the back of the flower petals that we just made in round six. Got a slip knot on my hook. And we're going to start in any position where you've got these two full stitches that are behind the back posts that you made. Doesn't matter where you start, I'm going to start here. And my first stitch is going to be a standing treble. So that's twice over. And then in the first of those two stitches, I'm going to do a treble. And you're going to do three more trebles. You want four trebles in the one stitch. So one, two, this is number three. And number four. So four trebles in the first stitch. Chain two. And in the next stitch again four trebles. And this makes your 
corner. So in, the, in this round we're squaring up the flower. Two, three, and number four. <clears throat> so we've got four trebles, chain two, and four trebles worked in those two stitches, which is the, if you really look carefully, which will be these two front post stitches there. We're now going to make our first straight edge. And we're going to be working in the back loops you have here. I'm going to be working in those back loops. First one, I'm going to work two half doubles on the first two loops. And what's really important is this first one you might um, accidentally miss because these four stitches kind of fall over. And you see you don't even see that first stitch, but there is one there. That one. I'm going to do a half double in the first loop. Back. So this one's only in the back loop because that's the only one you still have available. So one, and also do a back loop in the next half a uh, back loop and a back loop half double crochet. So we've now got two half double crochets. I'm going to skip the next stitch and then work another half double. So skip this stitch, work a half double. Again, going to skip the next stitch and work a half double in the back loop of the following stitch. You can see there in the middle where that stitch that I'm skipping. I'm going to again skip the next stitch. That's going to be this loop there. That will bring you to two full stitches again, which is again the these two back post stitches. I'm going to work a double crochet two together over those two stitches. Yarn over in the first stitch, pick up, pull through two loops, two loops on your hook, yarn over in the next stitch, pull through two loops, three loops on your hook, take them off. Go to skip the next stitch again, that's that little loop, and then stitch after work a half double. Now here is my slip stitch join from the previous round, so I'm going to skip that stitch and then in the next stitch work a half double. So I'm going to skip a stitch and then in the next work a half double again, back loop. Skip one stitch again and then work a back loop, in the next stitch work a back loop, half double and this time work another back loop half double on the next. So now you're going to work two next to one another. The reason is we're now onto these two back post stitches again and here we're going to work a new corner. So if it's easier to remember you're always going to skip one loop between your stitches except when you're at the corner. So you see here it's a corner and then immediately two and here again two and now we're going to do the corner. So it's twice over then in the first stitch work four trebles. That's one, two, three, and four. And then two more chain stitches, to chain to set chain two, and then in the next one again four trebles. It's one, two, three, and four. And again, and this corner here is exactly the same as that corner. So along this straight edge, you've just done here, going to do this three more times. And when you get here, you're going to work your last two dub, um, half doubles on those last two stitches and then close on the first stitch with a slip stitch. At this point your square is going to be very wonky and wobbly. It's going to feel like it's pulling inward, but we're going to be building on this more rounds and then your square will flatten out more. 
round eight. I have a new color yarn on my hook with a slip knot, and we're going to start in any corner space, any chain two corner space. To start in there with a standing double crochet. If you are using the same color as the previous round, you'll be in this stitch here, then just slip stitch to the corner. And then start with your first double crochet. In the corner, you're going to make three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. One, two, and three. There we go. Now, along the straight edge, we're going to be making half double crochet V stitches. That's a half double, chain one, and a half double. You can start by skipping the first two stitches, and then in the third, that's that stitch there, going to work the first V. So skip one. Two stitches, then in stitch number three, going to work a half double, chain one, and a half double in the same stitch. That's your V stitch made, your half double V stitch. Going to skip a stitch, so that one, and then in the next stitch, work another V, half double V. I'm going to continue that until we're to the other side, so skipping one stitch and making a V stitch. So skip one stitch, and then in the next, it's a half double, chain one, and a half double. Again, skip one stitch, it's a half double, chain one, and a half double. And again, skip one stitch, then the next half double, chain one, half, we're almost to the other side, so skip a stitch, and again, half double, chain one, and a half double. I'm going to do it one last time, so skipping this stitch and work a half double chain one and a half double. At this point you should have two stitches left before the corner. I'm going to skip these last two stitches and then in the corner you work a new corner which is three doubles, chain two and three doubles. One, two chain stitches and then three more doubles. Two and three. And this corner is the same as the corner we started with. So what you just did along this edge with all the V stitches and skipping stitches in between do on the other three edges also. If you're looking for the pattern here, after the corner, before the corner you're skipping two stitches between the V and on every and all, all the other positions you only skip one stitch. So go all the way around and after your last V stitch skip two stitches and close here with a slip stitch. Round nine I have a new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in the same way as round eight. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space and I'm going to start with a standing double crochet. Again, if you're using the same color yarn, just slip stitch into the corner and then take it from there. I'm going to make the same corner. And I've got a cat hair here. I've got three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. So that's your new corner made. Now for the straight edge, we're again going to work V stitches, but this time double crochet V stitches 
in the half double crochet V stitches we already have. And before and after the corner we make a chain one. Chain one, that's to bridge the gap of these three stitches here because we're going to skip the three um, double crochets and then go to the V stitch. And in the chain one space of this V stitch, in that space there, going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So in that space, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. I'm going to make this V stitch in every V stitch we already have. So a double crochet, chain one, and a double in the next V stitch. And again in the next one. You're going to repeat this until you're to the other side. There's going to be seven V stitches in total. last V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Next up is the corner, so that means chain one, and skipping these last three double crochets, go to the chain two corner space and work a new corner, which is going to be three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. And then this corner I'm now making is exactly the same as the previous corner, the one we started with. So that means on the next edge, on this edge, you're going to repeat everything that we've just done on this edge. That means before and after the corner, you've got a chain one, and then in between, in every V stitch, you make a double crochet V stitch all the way around and close on your first stitch. Remember, after you've gotten done your last V stitch, chain one and then close on that first stitch. Round 10, I have a new color yarn on my hook and I'm again going to start on any chain two corner space. Using the same color yarn, you'll be at this point here and just slip stitch into the corner. I'm going to make the same corner as in the previous round, so a standing double crochet followed by two more. Chain two and then three doubles. Just again, so corner is three doubles, chain two and three doubles. That's your new corner made. For the straight edge, chain one, go to skip a stitch, going to be this stitch here, and then in the next, that's the center of these three doubles that made up your previous corner, and that second one, work a double crochet. Chain one, go to skip the next double crochet, it's that one. Then in the, v, in the chain space here, I'm going to make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Let me get my yarn. Chain one. Then in the next V stitch here, in the chain one space, make a double crochet. Chain one, and go to the next V, work a double crochet in that space. Chain one, the next V, the same. In the chain one space, so in the center of the V, work a double. Chain one, the center, a double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, 
chain one. You're going to do this in every V stitch until you're to the last V stitch, which is where I'm at the moment. Chain one. In the chain one space here, which is before the corner, work a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one. And a double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch, work a double crochet, that's going to be the center of these three that you have here. Chain one, then skip the last stitch and work a corner. So you're going to work three doubles, chain two. And three doubles. One, two, and three. And this corner is again the same as that corner. So what I've just done here, repeat all the way around. So it's a corner, chain one, double crochet here on the center of the three, chain one, V stitch in the chain space and then a double crochet in every V stitch with chain ones in between and on this side it's the same as on that side so you want mirror images here on both corners go all the way around and close on your first stitch so again you'll be making a double crochet then chain one and then close round 11 I have a new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in any chain two corner space. We're going to start there with a standing single crochet. And do two more in the same space. So you now have three single crochets in the corner. That's your new corner made. <coughs> On the next 12 stitches, Go to make a single crochet in each stitch, especially at the first one. Be mindful not to accidentally skip that first stitch. It's so one, two, three single crochets on the stitches. Now you've got a chain space, so be mindful this one also counts. So that chain space is four, and the stitch is five, and then the chain space is again six. 7 is on the first stitch of the V, 8 is in the center of the V, 9 is on the other side, 10 is again a chain, 11 is a double crochet, and 12 is again a chain space. So you've worked 12 single crochets. We're now going to catch the flower petal and connect it to our work. What we're going to do is we're going to catch it around the fifth double crochet. And if you look at your petal, you'll see you've got the stitches and here in the center you've got the three double crochets in the one stitch. Now the center one of those three, that's the stitch where you're going to catch it around, that center of the petal. Now the pattern calls for a front post double crochet. I actually prefer doing a back post double crochet. I'll show you both. Oh, sorry, a, a treble crochet. So it's twice over for the treble. And then the pattern asks for a front post. So you go to the center of the three stitches. It's the front post. So from the front, hook up and complete the treble. Personally, I prefer to do a back post because I feel then my flower petals remain um, more visible. So I'm going to do a back post treble. I'm just going to pull this out. So again, twice over. And then the same stitch, but this time from the back. I'm going to make a back post treble. And complete the stitch. Two, three. Now if you see see that little stripe there, that's from the back post. And then I believe my, my flower petal is just more visible. That's why I prefer a back post treble. 
but note the pattern calls for a front post. We're going to continue and work eight single crochets. Now work immediately in the next stitch, so don't accidentally skip anything. So immediately in the next stitch, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then here in the chain space is eight. I'm now going to do the same on this flower petal as we did here. Again, look for the center of the flower petal. You see there's the third of those three, so that center one is the one you need. Twice over, then the pattern calls for a front post. So you do it from the front, hook up and complete the stitch. Personally I'm again going to do a back post stitch, so from the back around that stitch, hook up on the other side and complete the treble. And this way you see your flower petals and that they're, um, that they're yeah, I, I, I like this way more because I see the stitches all. But this is a personal, if you prefer the front post, do the front post. I'm going to work a single crochet in each stitch to the corner. That's 13 single crochets. In the next stitch, so immediately the next stitch, don't skip anything. That's one, two, three is again on the stitch, four is a chain space. Five, six is again a chain space. Seven, eight chain space. Nine is on a stitch. Ten is a chain space. You've got three stitches left to the corner. And those are your last three. That's eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Next up is the chain two corner space. It won't surprise you going to do three single crochets in that corner. So one, two, three single crochets. And these three singles are the same as the three singles we started with. So everything we just did on this edge, do this on your other three edges also. And you get to your first stitch, close with a slip stitch. Round 12. This round we're going to be adding a little bit of texture to our square. We're going to start by slip stitching to the next stitch. That's going to be the corner stitch. You're now in that first of the three single crochets. We're going to slip stitch to the second. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Now we make three single crochets in this stitch. That's the new corner. I'm going to chain one. This is not a stitch, it's just to get me to the correct height. And then work three single crochets in that stitch. If you're using a new color yarn, you can sta start in this stitch with a standing single crochet and then work two more. So you've got three single crochets in that corner stitch. For the straight edge, work five single crochets. This is the first stitch, I'm just working over my yarn tail. Five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. Five single crochets. We're going to work front post double crochet around the double crochet from two rows down. I'm actually going to do that on many occasions. So on all these double crochets here, going to work a front post double around that. Yarn over, hit the front post double crochet, pick up and complete the double. To the back we're going to skip one stitch, we're going to skip the next stitch and then in the stitch after work a single crochet and that single crochet is in the chain space. Again on the next stitch, if you see a double crochet stitch, because see this single is worked in that double, so that around that double crochet work a front post double. 
again skipping a stitch to the back work a single crochet the next stitch front post double skipping a stitch to the back that stitch work a front post work a single crochet front post double skipping one stitch to the back see that stitch work a single your next stitch just pay a little bit of it you'll see here that this stitch is your front post or back post treble if you work the front post treble to catch the flower petal I'm going to skip that stitch then here if you just look to the side you see it might be slightly covered you see that double crochet we're going to work a front post double around that so so just push that treble to the side you can get around the stitch work a front post double and then to the back okay, just in this case actually skip two stitches because remember one is from the treble and one is from the stitch that's into the double crochet so you, you might just think oh, I'm skipping two stitches but that's on purpose here so the next stitch I'm working in is a single crochet that's in the single crochet that's in the chain space front post double around the next double to the back skip, skip a stitch and a single front post double around the next double and to the back skip and work a single around the next front post double next double crochet work a front post double and skip a stitch work a front work a single crochet in the next stitch and that's going to be the stitch that's before the treble here I'm going to just skip the treble again I'll work a front post around that double crochet then in the next stitch which is going to be the single crochet that's in the chain space I'm going to work a single Again, if you look to the back, you'll see oh, there's two stitches skipped. One's from the treble, and one's from the, um, the, the the stitch that's in the double crochet. Now the front post double and a single, skipping one stitch to the back. Another double. single crochet, double crochet, front post, single crochet in the next stitch, double around the, around the double, so that's a front post, skipping one stitch and a single crochet in the next. At this point work four more singles. So one, Two, three, and four. Your next stitch will be the corner stitch. That's the second of the three that's worked there in one stitch. That next stitch work three singles. One, two, three singles. And these three singles are the same as those three singles we started with. So what we've just done on this edge, do this on your other three also and close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. Round 13, I'm going to use a new color yarn and I'm going to attach with a slip stitch in the corner stitch. So that's the second of the three single crochet corners. If you're using the same color yarn, 
then you just slip stitch into this corner stitch here and then you're at the same point where I am now. I'm going to make a new corner, it's going to be chain 3 for my first double crochet and then two more so one two, so it's three doubles chain two and three doubles one That's your new corner made, so three doubles, chain two, three doubles. For the first straight edge, I'm going to skip the first three stitches, so those three stitches we're going to skip and then we're going to work on stitch number four. I'm going to make three double crochets in there. It's one, two, three, skip, then in stitch number four, work three doubles. It's one, two, Three. Now we're going to skip two stitches and then again work three doubles. So it's one, two, skip, then the stitch number three, work three doubles. It's one, two, three. Then again skip one, two stitches and work three doubles. You're going to do this ten times just done twice with you. Show you once more and then I'll make a jump in the video. So again skipping two stitches, one, two skip, then in the third make three doubles. It's one, two, and three. So I've done this three times so I do it um, seven more times. So skipping two stitches and then work three doubles in the next and then skip two stitches and three doubles in the next. Repeat this ten more times. I've now done the repeat nine times so I'm almost to the corner. I need to do, the, to do this repeat once more. So I'm going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then in the third work three doubles. three double crochets. To get to the corner you've got three stitches left, one, two, three. You're going to skip all three of those and then in the corner stitch, which is the center of these three singles, in that corner you're going to work a new corner. So skipping the last three stitches and then in the corner work three doubles. Two, three doubles chain two and three doubles one two three doubles and this corner here is exactly the same as the corner we started with so what you've just done along this edge with these um, groups of three double crochets do that on all your edges and close on your first stitch Round 14, I have a new color yarn that I'm going to attach in any chain 2 corner space with a slip stitch. If you're using the same color yarn, just slip stitch to your corner and then you can start with me here because then you'll be in that stitch there. So then just slip stitch to the corner. I'm going to make a new corner, this is the same as the previous round, so that's three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets. Of course the first one of these of this corner is a chain three. And if you prefer you can also do a standing double crochet that's also good. There we go. That's the new corner made. We're now going to work a series of stitches and we're going to work small clusters in between the space that you see here between the double crochet, the three double crochets. So in, in that space there we're going to work stitches and on the three double crochets the center stitch. 
of the three. We're going to work on those. The first one is going to be the space here in between. So in essence you're going to skip the first three stitches. I'm going to yarn over and in that space work a double crochet two together. So this is the first half of the double crochet. Yarn over and again three loops on your hook. Take them all off. Next we're going to work a front post treble around the center of the three stitches. I'm going to go twice over. So we've got these three double crochets here. You take the center one from right to left, front to back, pick up one, two, three times. And what I've just done, my yarn is just a little knotted, what I've just done with the this double crochet two together and the treble, I'm going to do that ten times. That's going to bring you over here. So I'll just show you once more. So yarn over, go to the next space between the two groups of three double crochets and work a double crochet two together. So first half and the second half. Three loops on your hook off. Work a treble around the center of the next three doubles. So one, two, three. Again in the next space a double crochet two together. One, two, take them both off. Twice over Work a treble around the double crochet, center of those three doubles. I've now done this um, three times with you. Repeat this until you're almost here, and then I'll just show you just the last bit into the corner. I'm almost on the other side. I've just worked a double crochet two together in this space here. So around center of the next three doubles. I'm going to work a treble, front post, but the last space here and there again a double crochet two together. Take off. I'm going to skip the last three stitches and then go for the corner which you're going to work a new corner, which is again three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. This corner is of course the same as your previous corner. And that means everything that you've just done on this edge, you're going to repeat that on your other three edges also. When you get to your first stitch, just close on that stitch with a slip stitch. So repeat all of this and go all the way round. Round 15, last round of the square. I'm going to use the same color yarn. Currently in that chain 3 here we started with them in there with a slip stitch. In this round we're going to do a single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to chain 1, it's just for the correct height, and then in the same stitch make a slip stitch. So this is the chain 3. In the next stitch, which is always a little hard, following the chain 3, make a single crochet and in the next stitch also. In the corner you do three single crochets. It's one, two, three. And that second one is of course your corner stitch. Then along the straight edge, make a single crochet in every stitch. This is just going to give you a nice clean stitch row. There we go. So continue, make a single crochet on every stitch. When you get to a corner, you do three single crochets. 
when you're all the way around you close on your first stitch. When you've completed your last round with all the single crochets you'll notice that your square curls inward a bit so block your square to get it nice and flat. And when you've blocked your square this is what your square looks like nice and straight edges. Brings to the end of this instruction video. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time.